Hi and welcome to our next video in our area series, which is the area of a trapezium. All right, so a trapezium is a quadrilateral that has straight sides, but we have a pair of parallel opposite sides in our um, trapezium here. So we can see our example here. Um, we've got a trapezium here and we've got two parallel opposite sides. Now the other two sides aren't parallel. Now if they were parallel, we'd have a parallelogram. Um, or a rhombus if all the sides were equal, but we've actually got this shape which is called a trapezium. Now basically the formula for this is the average length of those parallel sides multiplied by this vertical distance between the sides. And you can see there it's got the formula A plus B, so A at the top here, plus B divided by 2 multiplied by the vertical height. So if we have a look at our um, example here, find the area of this trapezium, you can see that we've got, it's a trapezium, that we've got two parallel sides, our other two sides are, we've got 10 centimetres um, at the bottom, 8 centimetres at the top, and our vertical height is 6. So if we have a look at our area formula, so our area equals A plus B divided by 2, that's all in brackets, so we do that first, and then we multiply that by the height. Alright, so our area, now substitute, equals a, which is 8, up the top here, plus 10, divided by 2, multiplied by the height, which is 6. So if we calculate our brackets, we've got 18, divided by 2, multiplied by 6. So area equals 9 times 6. So area equals 54, and we've got centimetres. So we've got centimetres squared. Okay, so you can see there we've got our the trapezium there. Um, we've followed our formula, substituted in, and we've calculated that. So that's that's the area of a trapezium. That's how to calculate that. All right, thanks for watching that. Hopefully you got something out of that, and we'll see you in our next video.